There we go. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Today is April 4th, 2019. Welcome to the Ruben Hoare Library Board of Trustees meeting. Um, we are operating without a quorum right now, but in a few minutes we should have our other members here. Uh, so we will start with public participation. We don't have any. <laughs> so uh, we will go on to correspondence. No correspondence. Um, should we look at the minutes? I mean, we can't vote to approve them, or should we just skip to the treasurer's report? Yeah, we could. We could look over the minutes. Maybe okay. We'll just come back to them. it, okay. or table them until next week. All right. All right. So we will uh, look at the March seventh, twenty nineteen minutes. We're just looking at the minutes right now. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Would anyone like to second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? The March 7th, 2019 minutes have been approved. Moving on to Treasurer's report. Who, can I just ask who seconded that? Uh, Mark did. Okay. Thank you. Treasurer's report. Yes. One second. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Treasurer's report. MMD, MMDT operating balance is $829.96. <coughs> the M MMDT building fund is $455,017.52. That's of April 1st. No Barth. It's too early in the month. Once to know. Hi. I'd love to, but uh, okay. my 10 hours are up. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good meeting. You too. David, can you repeat those numbers for me for the minutes? Be glad to. MMDT operating balance is $829.96. MMDT building balance is four hundred fifty-five thousand seventeen dollars and fifty-two cents. Okay, so eight twenty-nine ninety-six for the first one. Correct. That's the operating balance, and the building balance is four hundred fifty-five thousand seventeen and fifty-two cents. That's correct. Okay, great, got it. Thank and you. And no worth. Okay. So, <clears throat> on the hundred thousand dollars we approved for the getting started um, on the on the architect. Um, is going to come from the 455 number. It's unclear at this point whether it's going to be transferred into the MMDT account, the operational account, or some other account okay. um, for PMBC's use. Did they say when they were going to take that? Um, they were going. To, they needed the minutes that we approved it at, and then it will be transferred. Okay. And I send them. them. So okay. it'll be. So it'll probably be soon. All right. Not bad. Is that our cue to do a little exchange? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else regarding the treasurer's report? Okay, friends report. Oh, yeah. So I was at the friends meeting, and I will tell you 
that I was looking at my notes, and it's one line. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It says they have $36,000 in the bank and $2,000 $2, worth of expenses to date. There was a protracted discussion about the friends making a donation to uh, the Get Out the Vote effort. Uh, that was approved. It was uh, voted on and approved. And um, I know that, I believe, a check for $1,000 has been deposited into the Yes Littleton Library account. And folks are working to get those things in order and organized and planned out. So was there a, that, that felt like that was most of the that time we sat the together. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was right before mini golf. So there also was talk about just finalizing the details about that. Uh, mini golf was wildly successful. The year before it was $15,000 and this year it was 18400 mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a lot of money for a lot of effort, but, um, you know, for a, a day and a half or an evening and a, and a day, it was quite a lot of money. Are they doing a town-wide yard sale this year? Did they mention that? Not all? that was mentioned. Yeah. Um, the next friends meeting. Okay. Yeah, and uh, there was a discussion about the staff luncheon, and I think we probably were all in receipt of the please consider right. contributing. So and when I looked at it, there were only a couple of slots left. <clears throat> okay. The friends have can duty this month. Oh, and can duty. Yes, you probably got to sign up for that as well. <laughs> oh, I'll forward you mine. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments regarding the Friends Report? Okay. Fundraising and Public Awareness Committee Report. I attended that on Monday. Uh, we spent uh, time talking about the mini golf and ways that it had been a success and things to improve on the following year. Uh, we also talked about doing Third Thursday this summer. Um, Third Thursday this year is on May 16th, June 20th, July 18th, and August 15th. So the public awareness slash fin um, uh, fundraising committee and the friends are going to start planning for that. Um, but we just decided that we're going we're gonna to do Third Thursday. Um, we need to talk to you, Sam, about reserving a table um, for the event. Okay. Um, we also talked about the LCTV info videos. Sam and I had recorded it was our second time around, and the, there was difficulty with the microphone. The battery pack got was, dislodged. Yeah. So a portion of the interview, you couldn't hear anything. So we need, to, <laughs> <laughs> we need to do it a third time. And we discussed just filming it and then just having a voiceover as the camera recorded areas in the library that mm -hmm. we wish to talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just uh, talked more about infographics, which um, we've been working on to get out to the public uh, and putting them on the Littleton Library Project web website. And just, um, yeah, just keeping on with those donations and those pledges. We also talked about ballot <coughs> initiative, but that's the next um, subject. So we'll move on to that. And I know, Jenna, you probably have more to say about what's going on with that. Uh, no, pretty much have what you have okay. there. So okay. you go ahead. <laughs> oh, um, all I have here is that um, you guys are working on palm cards mm -hmm. and that you have an email address now. Yes, Littleton Library at gmail.com. All one word. LittletonLibrary.com. At gmail.com. At, at gmail. Yes. Right. And when you say pom, you mean pom, pom To pass cards. out when you're going door-to-door -door canvassing? Okay. But I'm, palm. 
Is that what palm? Okay. Yes. Palm. Got it. Um, and just one other thing, I know that <clears throat> there are people meeting on Saturday to talk okay. about canvassing efforts. So that's another, another piece of the puzzle that's being put together. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Trusty updates. Mark? Um, nothing really to report. I've attended several meetings and more coming up, so. What'd you say? I'm sorry. I'm just, just lots just of meetings. <laughs> just going to meetings. Going to meetings. And then going home afterwards. <coughs> I am not the scribe that you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. Um, same with me. Uh, <laughs> attending a lot of meetings. Um, just letting all the committees and boards around the town know th about the project and um, what, you know, how there's a vote coming up in May. Well, I think since our last meeting, we had two informational sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, the one at the police station had about 16. 15, 16 people, yeah. And the one that we had the other night it was had close to 30. And, that was a big and nobody knew that you were catering it. <laughs> I bet you there would have been, well, there would have been too many people to fit in the room mm -hmm. if that had been the case. Um, and that, that also was helpful because um, Phil. O'Brien. O'Brien. Phil O'Brien from Johnson Roberts was there and could answer some more technical questions about the build. Mm -hmm. um, but we encourage people at the information sessions to share your thoughts because we are, um, despite the, the request at town meeting for the design study, we are already beginning to consider what a design would look like. So. Um, I don't really have a, too much of an update. I brought the Littleton Independent, mm -hmm. which has a front page story about the, I don't know if everybody, I'm assuming everybody saw it, but mm -hmm. front page story about um, the mini golf and a really, I thought a really fun picture of our two um, local state reps, uh, the senator from our area and the uh, representative from our area in the inside of that newspaper. So it was, that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And so kudos to the, the friends and everybody who participated in that. Event. It was pretty awesome. How many golf balls are turning up from under the show? <laughs> I've seen like three around the building. Like <laughs> Easter eggs. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And none of them were yours. No. <laughs> no, because I lost. <laughs> I guess started without me. I was here when you started. I didn't get in on that game. No, you didn't. Okay. I'm losing my mind. Oh, it's been a long week. I, said, I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Director's report. Um, I officially got sworn in as a notary, uh, so that makes me, Julie, uh, Andy, and Jean, so four not notaries on staff. Um, tomorrow, I'm meeting with the new uh, town administrator, Nina, for a working lunch, and we're just going to talk about the project and get to know each other, basically. That's nice. Mm -hmm. um, on March 25th, I met with Johnson Roberts and the architect and Steve Moore and Lauren Smith Starr from MBLC and, and Mark. And we discussed the updates to the floor plans and gave him our notes and the, the notes from the public. And we plan to meet again on this Monday. Mm -hmm. um, there was an international travel program on March 26 that went very well. Um, on April 11th at 7 in the Cooper Room, there will be a Rocket Chusets program also in the Cooper Room. Um, there will be informational meetings on the new library project on Thursday, April 18th. At 10 a.m. in the Cooper Room, design input session where we'll work strictly with the architect to go over the design, no information, just one-on-one -on -one with the architect. Uh, so that's going to be on April 23rd at 11. Um, that one's in the Cooper Room also. The final input, uh, informational session will be on April 27th at 7 in room 103 of Town Hall. And there will be another design session with the architect on Monday, April 29th at 6 in the police meeting room. Sam, just to be clear um, to anyone who's watching, these design input sessions on April 23rd and, um, and the 29th, are those open to the public? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, also, just as a side note, we've had a lot of patrons coming in complaining about the charging stations. Uh, we've had it on both sides. People have electric cars. They come in and complain that people with non-electric cars are taking the parking spaces. People without electric cars 
uh, are coming in and saying, why do only electric cars get to park there? Um, so we've told them it's not, we didn't put, it, put them there. It's not our responsibility. Um, it's the police are, you, you should call the police either way. <laughs> uh, well, if you have an electric car and someone else is parked there, that's, and you want them out, we can't search the library for the person. Um, mm -hmm. um, so there, there is a sign up saying you can be fined, um, that the spots are only for electric vehicles. Um, I believe Anthony, the acting town administrator, has put out something on Facebook, and mm -hmm. so, yeah, just change is hard. Do yeah, you, Sam, do you happen to know exactly how the sign by the plugins reads? I, I can't remember, but every time I go by, it seems ambiguous, and I can't remember exactly what it says. But it know. doesn't say that a car can't park there if there's nobody there. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say electrical vehicles only. Okay. You know, it, to me it seems ambiguous. Okay, I can let Anthony know and he can let the police chief. And the sign on the door is great, but you know, it should right. say it out there. Right. You know, yeah. Or electric vehicles only, fine $25 if not something. Maybe it's just not the right sign. Okay. Um, so financial report, uh, we've reached the MAR. So uh, that number in red is actually how much we're over the MAR. So we, the MAR was 119000 So we're over by $4,947.67. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so that's done. <laughs> uh, and we're going to keep, we still have money left to uh, continue purchasing until the new fiscal year. Um, and the salaries are at 30% left, which is pretty good. Um, and the rest are stats. We were talking at the Public Awareness Committee, and we heard that the door counter broke? Yes, the door counter at the front door was bro broke. And because we realized that after the mini golf, and it said we only had about 200 people, mm -hmm. which was not correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I bought a new one, and it seems to be working so far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll buy one for the other door, too? I wanted to see if this one worked, and then I'm going to buy another one for that door. Is there a big push to spend past the MAR, or we just have the money and we're, I, I'm asking. This so is not a big push. We're, are we being judicious in what we're purchasing now, yes. since we don't need to? Of course. Now I'm recklessly spending it away. No, I mean, well, <laughs> since we don't need to, <laughs> since we don't have to hit the number, right. there's no point in That's accelerating right. pushes. Yeah. Right. All we're really purchasing on at this point are things to support Diane for summer reading coming up because those things will need to come in so I'll have time to process them. Continuations, things in the pipeline, um, automatically yours, new titles from high interest authors, and probably standing order through Brodart, which is continuation of travel. Okay. So we're not likely to spend the rest of this 12000 Oh, no. Okay. Okay, good. Anything else regarding the director's report? Okay, old business, building maintenance issues. I can't think of anything this time. What? <laughs> Yay, wow. Just the ongoing stuff. Yeah. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. No. Has anything been repaired since last meeting? Okay. All right. Good. Upcoming informational meetings. Yeah, I just went through them. Um, but yeah. The dates are on the website and the calendar. All right. New business. Building project town meeting warrant. Um, so you guys want to vote to approve to uh, support the building project warrant? Let's, let's do that. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I make a motion that we as the Library Board of Trustees support the warrant article relative to the library, which I believe is number five? Correct. In the special, special town meeting. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I repeat it for me? Oh, I make a motion that <laughs> the board five. of library trustees 
supports Article 5 special town meeting relative to the design study of the library. And David seconded. Oh, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think yeah, he did. Yeah, what's this coming up? And are there any opposed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Good. We support the building project town meeting warrant. Babysitting at the library during town meeting. Jenna, you requested um, that this be on the agenda, so. Well, and there has been some, uh, you know, there's been some information that was shared by, I don't even know where if I have it, shared by Susan mm -hmm. that there will be um, students at the high school coming over to the middle school during that time. Um, and I suppose we need to decide as a group whether um, we believe that's sufficient or should we have something here as well um, I have secured two responsible adults who will submit to Cory checks if that's something that people are concerned about um, I have uh, we'll have a 12 14 and 16 year old who will be voluntold that they're helping out um, and I'm sure that there'll be other teens who'd be willing to come over as well. But if the board decides that what is happening at town meeting is enough, then we can dispense with the notion that we should have it here as well. Does anyone know how many, um, what the hours of the babysitting for town meeting would be? Was that, in, was that, oh yeah, I can't remember, okay. Mm -hmm. It is likely with special town meeting opening at 730 mm -hmm. and with the first four articles so far as I can mm -hmm. tell they're not particularly controversial mm -hmm. that the library will probably start a discussion at mm -hmm. 745 and I would imagine between a presentation and public comments from the floor probably a vote will be taken around 830. Right, 45 minutes is probably the amount of time that folks are going to be talking. Unless someone gets up really quickly and says, what, move the question, which means that just, just vote. So my only concern is the Cory, because everybody gets Coried in the library, even yeah. volunteers, girls who right. code people got Coried. Yeah. So as long as everyone's Coried and passes, it's, I'm okay with it. And do we continue watching them after we close out? Was it nine? Say so it doesn't. Well, we're not even open. Yeah, we're not open. It's a Monday. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. But there can be. But I mean, the room gets reserved anyway yeah. by people. Mm -hmm. There could be board games provided and uh, a movie mm -hmm. can be running and too. Maybe books. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few. I had thought that it was a, a good idea um, because I, I know from past experience, you know, if you have controversial articles and you have long debates by town residents, you have to leave because your babysitting time is up. And so it kind of defeats the whole point of why you went to town meeting because you can't even vote on the articles that you went there to vote for. So I thought that. Um, this is a this is a good opportunity to um, have just an additional place where people can bring their children. And I mean, again, we, have we decided on hours that we would keep it open? Well, I mean, if it seemed to me that if a special time meeting starting at seven thirty, mm -hmm. right. that we could have people here at six forty five. Right. They can drop off. They can get over. They can park. They can get in, and then they can come back when they're when right. they're ready to come back. I think that there are probably one issue voters mm -hmm. who are just going to vote in the library as sure. we've seen other votes attract mm -hmm. one. Have other departments done that? Like if the light department had some type of, have they, how do other people to promote their, do you know what I'm saying? To support the people that want to vote for their article, how do they, other than the high school, no one else does it? Or? 
Didn't we? Didn't we do babysitting the last for the when we voted on the grant? Didn't we have it? Didn't we have babysitting here? Not here. The town has always been the one that's providing the babysitting. So the problem I have is there's a lot of other potential controversial articles out there, more controversial than the library that people might want to vote for. So it's if we're providing babysitting basically for the duration of our article, you're not really solving the town meeting problem, right? It's but more people can reserve the library if they want to <coughs> offer babysitting for a controversial item that they're... No, if we're providing babysitting effectively until when our article is mm -hmm. over, you're not really solving what the problem is, right? You're promoting people to come out for the library, right. but not to town meeting, right? It's. But there's isn't there? But there's also babysitting available at the school yeah. for. I just think it's nice. To, I mean, it's an additional opportunity. It's an additional offering, right? It's not the only offering. Right. It's an additional offering. You mm -hmm. you usually can't. I don't think you could go past nine. With the town babysitting, you, you like you. That's when it ends. It's, so, all, it's only yeah. there till nine. So, yeah. So every everybody so it's has not to there come. until the yeah. end. Wait a minute, who okay. sets that? Uh, it's not really helpful. <laughs> no, there's no law. So who set it? Uh, whoever sets up the babysitting through the town in the past, they have said, okay, you have the hours start. Yeah, probably at seven thirty until nine, and then that's it. Um, if if there are articles still being debated or other ones you want to vote on, you have to go and either bring your kids into the gym or you have to go home. Um, so I mean, at least with the library, maybe we can we can have it until ten. I mean, who's I don't think anybody would want to keep their kids there past ten anyway. Well, why couldn't why couldn't they have it at the school till ten? They are going to. Oh, until ten? As long as town meeting's on. Really. Why not? They know, in the they, past, they, they haven't had, had it go that way. Um, I, I, I mean, this. I'm. I. My personal thought on this is that the town should be providing this for the length of town meeting. The town isn't. The high school has volunteered again, um, and as far as I know, they're going to be there for the length of it. I mean, my feeling is, the town should be doing this because people need to get out and participate in democracy, no matter what the issue is. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. So so Sue, in, in yeah. your in your email here, I just happen to have it right up. Yeah. Um, so a class advisor has agreed to take this on and offer three sitters. Would that be well at the, at the moment? I mean, I, here's the thing. Mark said, "Who does sitting at the town?" I said, "I'll find out at okay. town meeting." So I checked with um, Dorothy Malone, the superintendent's secretary, and she said, "Geez, I don't know." I'll get back to you. She didn't. So I got back to her. And she said, oh, I've already talked to John Harrington about it. And he's, he's already uh, asking for sitters. Well, I said, well, isn't that interesting? Because he didn't talk to me. So then I went and found him. I talked with Cheryl Temple this morning. Well, no, we emailed at 5 AM. I didn't talk to her. Um, and I said, is there space? She's never been asked before, because she's only been there for two years. And she said, I will make space. I will find a space for this to happen. And I mean, if I need to go and be the sitter, I'll be the sitter. But I, you know. I think in the past they've done it at the library at the middle school or the, in the cafeteria. Um, Possibly and, the art room. Well, yeah, the I, art room. I, I, yeah, the art room was what room. I was suggesting. And, um, um, and I said, Cheryl, it's your building. You tell us where you would like to have this happen. We just did babysitting Tuesday night for a presentation. Um, at the high school, we used the library, but we had games and stuff in there. So, I mean, this happens on a regular basis in terms of trying to get parents to mm -hmm. events right. at the high school. So, right. but do they have a, a limit I, of how many kids can come in there? Don't think so. so I mean, if it makes sense to consolidate, yeah, yeah. if we right. offer our yeah. space to them and they oversee it. They're going to have more space, and it's more convenient. It's bigger, yeah. yeah. Space. And uh, I, I mean, I'm a long way from having littles. At <laughs> and the last time I did this, it was in the old, old junior senior high school, and we were in the cafeteria, and the kids were playing hide and seek under the built-in table things. You know, so, getting their so, heads caught. So can we dispense with using the library and just concentrate on using the school? And. Maybe get that confirmed. Can we do that? 
I mean, I know it's going to happen at the, at the school. So, okay. so the only thing we're worried about is is the is the room and the amount of sitters. And I uh, and Cheryl Temple, uh, principal at the middle school, said she would figure it out, and I will be in touch with her to make sure she's figuring it out. She didn't even know when town meeting was. I mean, she doesn't live here, right? Mm -hmm. But I thought, hmm, she probably should know. This is her building. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. 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 Between the clubs you're involved but in, Susan, you probably can round up kids that need community service. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and yes. who are not old enough yet to vote. Exactly. I mean, that is one of the issues. So if you've got the sophomore class, the it's class awesome too. because right. they're yeah. not voting yet. <laughs> Someone told me there's extra credit, though, from their history teacher if they go uh, to town meeting. Yes, so that is true. That she is doesn't true. want to babysit because she wants her extra credit. Well, that would be extra credit, too. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that would be, that's good. I'm, to, I'm good happy to, to do that. That's not a problem. Not a problem. Community service, extra credit, you name it, you got it. All, all of the above. All of the above. Okay, so I think, my opinion is, if that's... I don't think we need to offer babysitting in two places if we're sure it's going to happen at the middle school. Because yeah. that, to me, feels more convenient for parents. I agree. Dropping it, dropping yeah. their, it, dropping their child right. there, and then going and voting, and then right. it's all in the same space. And <clears throat> it's likely, <coughs> excuse me, that when the drop-off happens, here's my cell phone. I'm mm -hmm. going to be I'm in the auditorium. Exactly. Text me if there's yeah. something I need right. to come, to, you know, and, right. and deal with. Right. So that sounds. One Good. thinks that parents probably know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll make a little so, list. So, I mean, I, I yeah. agree. I mean, if that's the case and it's no charge and there's no, no. kick you out at the end mm -hmm. or kick you out at nine or... No. It's fine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Good. So, so you, Susan, you're going to keep coordinating that? Yeah, part? I guess I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of democracy as I, you. I, I, that, <laughs> that's my goal. It's, democracy <laughs> is not a spectator sport. You got to get there and do it. Mm. Yeah. So. So we should start this in June for the next meeting, next Probably. town meeting too. So. Yeah. You know, I get do. the town to actually work on providing this. It you know. should be a service that's offered. Yeah. It should absolutely, absolutely yeah. be a service that's uh, offered. Uh, no question. We can set Henry on that too because he was very big on town meeting participation on yeah. that committee before. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, that's good. All right, then. Patrick Sweeney reimbursement. So we have um, received invoices from Patrick Sweeney for his uh, travel and lodging, and we need to vote to approve to allocate money to cover his travel expenses. I make a motion that we allocate $375.15 from the MDMT account to reimburse Patrick Sweeney of every library for his visit to us at the end of February, not the end of December, as reflected on his invoice. <laughs> if that was a motion, I'll second it. <laughs> All Aye. those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, we have voted to approve the invoices that Patrick Sweeney has sent us for his travel. I just said say December. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Library director performance review. All right. So this isn't due until next month, but um, last year you guys said you wanted to look over the goals and discuss yeah. them. So uh, this is homework for us. Homework for you. <laughs> I already filled out some of it. Um, obviously, it's up to you guys to change it. And I left two goals at the end that I didn't fill in. Like, can we put juggling three balls at once? You want. I don't know if, if I'm going to achieve that. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe you'll start with just two. <laughs> Maybe Mark will suggest mini golf. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I got somebody. Somebody hand delivered something this afternoon asking if uh, the high school wouldn't like to put on a mini golf in the gym. And I said, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Mm -hmm. So this is, you've already taken a swipe at this? Yeah. Okay. So usually that's how it works is yep. staff fills it out. And well, the first <laughs> sentence is a quite an understatement. This year I've been primarily focused on the library project. <laughs> <laughs> that's like really true. <laughs> and thank you for doing that. Yeah. Yeah, I can say in addition to you attending many, many 
meetings after your normal work hours. Um, I've also seen you at the library after library hours moving around the new furniture and reshelving books and moving the shelves. Can we vote for a raise on this too? If you want. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just checking. <laughs> Getting a raise, whether you vote it or yeah. not, mm -hmm. you get a step increase if you get a satisfactory. Oh, that's that's what it has to be satisfactory. But you don't get a double step increase if it's no. stupendous. You guys can vote on that. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, why did you give yourself a three for customer service time management? Because I'm never at the desk. <laughs> Pretty mm. much. Yeah, we'd agree with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not never at the desk, yeah. but. Yeah. You got other stuff. Yeah. All the plates are spinning. Yeah. So we're going to do this at the next meeting, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I do okay, have so a, homework. Yep. I have a question on the next meeting date. Do we want it to be May second? Do we want to meet before that? Oh. Town meeting is May sixth, mm -hmm. right? So we probably want to meet one more time before town meeting. Yes. Do we? <laughs> Um, I'm just asking if we want it to be like yeah, immediately fine. before town meeting or to give us some time to instead of the second meeting on the 25th of April something like that yeah I'm not available what, what, what we normally the benefit meet on the second right? yeah. week early yeah. in your estimation be because if you're meeting on the second you really have and we wanted to do anything you have no time to take any action before town meeting if there's anything we were doing right Okay. That's if we but wanted to, if we needed to do. I'm not saying we have to, but right. if there's something that came up and we like coordinate outfits for town meeting. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> oh, good. On, wear there's orange. So, um, if it makes any difference, I will not be here on the second. So, if you want me to be at a meeting, <laughs> we would have to make it earlier. I'm fine not being here, but. <laughs> giving you as an FYI. Mm -hmm. the, the other question I have is when we want to meet after May 2nd because we'll have a new board immediately after and do we want to meet right That's after right. town meeting or do we want to wait till June? Well when is, <coughs> aren't the elections, the elections are after On town the meeting. Yes. Yeah. Elections yes. is the 11th. Okay. Yes. So we could either wait till June to have our meeting after that or we could meet somewhere after the 11th. Right to go. How about we meet on the 16th of May, but we have a meeting before that also, like on, I think, like Jenna said, what, the 25th? The 25th instead of May 2nd. Right, instead of May 2nd, and then one on the 16th for our new member. And change over the board on the 16th? Change over as a board. Yes. Yes. Just like, well <laughs> <laughs> sit in this chair. <laughs> So that's mm. April 25th. Okay, and so we're amending okay. to April 25th. Okay. And May 16th. Mm -hmm. So we should, I, I would prefer that we approve your performance review before the changeover of the board. I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that would be done yeah, on the 25th. 25th, mm -hmm. 25th, 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 25th the next meeting. Okay. And, you know, if there's nothing really to discuss about town meeting or I mean, anything, we don't really have to meet for a long time on the 25th, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so we, we're set on the 16th also? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, sugar. I can't do the 16th, but that's okay. You can. I, you're going to end up as chairperson. No, I can't. <laughs> I, I have to run an NHS banquet that night, so sorry. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm probably supposed to be there too, huh? Uh, yeah, you, you would be, yeah. I'm hoping your son ar arrives after tennis. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was the only night in May I could get on the calendar. Well, should you guys Impossible. all meet on the 15th instead, on a Wednesday? I mean, that's another thing you can do too. You don't have to meet on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday's not a yeah, great right. night. You could choose Tuesday, what? Wednesday, Monday. So we go the, on the 15th? Wednesday the 15th? Who can do it? I, can I think the 15th. Could, um, yeah, if they want. It'll just be sports. I don't think there's going to be any townwide. There's concert. a friends meeting that night. Oh, on the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what yeah. Is that? May fifteenth is a friends meeting. Yeah. In a PNBC meeting. Yeah. Okay. So, what time's your banquet? The banquet, Susan. Well, I will be there from six in the morning. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the banquet. The at banquet seven? actually starts at seven. Okay. And in the I'm morning. Get from six thirty to to seven to accommodate. 
Calvin and Anthony getting back from tennis. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm missing the girls lacrosse. I mean, it's just, it's going to be a nightmare. But there you are. We couldn't eat the same night as the friends because of the whole liaison thing. Well, Sam can't be in two places at the same time. <laughs> two, uh, Usually about two, I'm there. You I don't could. have to. Well, I, you noticed that I was trying to be in two places at once. It does not work. Mm -hmm. okay. What about the 14th of May? I like it. David, he's so flexible. <laughs> <laughs> 16, 15, 14. I'm here. Okay. Where, yeah. It's does that work for you, Chris? 14th? The 14th? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can make that work. All right. Okay. So, it was so it was the so the fourteenth. <laughs> Do we have to officially <laughs> vote on this? You don't have an eraser. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so you as chair can call a meeting whenever you want. So. Oh. Don't do that though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so so we'll plan on the fourteenth and then. You have to see if um LCTV and mm -hmm. the rooms available too. Okay. And oh. for the twenty fifth. Yeah, for the twenty fifth. Is that what you're gonna do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just to double check, there's no info sessions on the 25th, right? No, They're just no. 27th. Okay. Yeah, it's the 27th. Okay. 27th is the only one I can make. You don't have to have it's LCD. It's going to be the best one of all. Yeah. Of course. It's you know what I mean? It's prom so. night. I'm not going to prom. I'm not going to discuss anything else. It's early. Yeah, but yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's at Union so Station in Worcester. We are going to meet on April 25th. That is a Thursday. and At 7. At 7 p.m., hopefully in this room. <laughs> and then May 14th, which is a Tuesday, at 7 p.m., mm -hmm. hopefully in yeah. this room. And then for the May meeting, we'll discuss our meeting schedule for the following year. Yes. Pick what day we want to meet on. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to be Thursday or Shake Torture Sam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Friday nights ought to work well. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> How about, so how about Sunday mornings? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I work too. Well, breakfast meetings. Yeah. We could, we could do like idea. the, we could meet it like right before book sorting on Sundays. Yes. So. <laughs> it keeps Sounds getting good. better. <laughs> that's, that's great. Okay. okay. Other business. Um, I just want to reiterate that uh, the at the Public Awareness Committee meeting, we had agreed that we are going to do Third Thursday. We, di we didn't plan for the dates yet, but I just wanted to make the trustees aware that we're going to need help in the summer when we set up our... Do those our kick in in May? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Extended. Uh, holy Thursday. Yeah, I, I'll, okay. I'll repeat the yeah, dates so there. Yeah. Yeah. May 16th. Oh, well, that's a good night. Yeah, I will be <laughs> May there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yes, May 16th, June 20th, July 18th, oh, and August 15th yeah, will be the third Thursday dates. What's the August, August one? What? August 15th. Uh, and probably do the 20th. 15, 6, 27, 18, On um, May 25th meeting, you should maybe pick who's going to be going to the Friends, mm. because the Friends right. meeting will happen before. Oh, no, it'll happen the day after. The Friends meeting's the 15th. Right. 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 So, okay, okay it's, fine. Right, good. it's fine. It's fine. Right. Works better. Okay. It works so much better. It's perfect yeah. now. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Okay. Any oh, other business? Lovely. Yeah. So, it, it's uh, 5 16. That's not a good day for me. I'll give a plug for the new. Have you all looked at the new Acorn TV that's on our recorded books? I love app? Acorn. Okay, so we get it now for free. Um, well, it's not, it's free to you. We yeah. pay as right, a subscription. Right. But it's wonderful because you can, if you have a Roku, I just stream it to my TV or I watch it on my iPad. But it's the same as BritBox, mm -hmm. and you pay $5 a month, I think, for BritBox, mm -hmm. and you can now get it through the library. Or you can actually, no, Chromecast doesn't work. That's with Hoopla. So, yeah, use the um, Acorn TV with your Roku, but now Hoopla also has um, BBC shows, but you have to use your Chromecast with that, right? I hear all kinds of words coming out of your mouth. I don't any of them. That was all in code, wasn't it? So, yeah. I have to okay. think so about it. We have so we have Roku. Roku. <laughs> How does Roku know that I have a, Okay, a so what you do, the you, first thing you do is you're going to go into your RB, your recorded books account, okay? 
which you probably have because you download audios, right? Hey, yes, oh. I do. So, and then you, once you do that, so and you, you put your library card, account. create your account. Yep. It authenticates by your library card. Okay. Then what you'll do once you have that set up, you go to Acon TV, and it will read that um, um, email and recognize it. Got it. And then you just go on to Roku, and you decide what you want to watch, and it'll be brought to you by Ruben Hall Library, and that's it. It What's is Roku? so great. Mm. What's Roku? Roku is a, a streaming. <laughs> you know it's a wonderful thing. A Roku is like a Chromecast or an Apple TV device. Right. I don't know what a Chromecast <laughs> is. I don't know what it is either. So. It's true. I don't watch television. I don't worry about it. I don't watch too much. I watch yeah. Acorn on my computer. Roku so, oh, like, oh, oh my yeah. God. And cable. Uh, you know, I don't have any of that. Yeah. No? It doesn't no. apply. It doesn't apply. Yeah. It's like parking in the electric only yeah. space. If you don't have an electric card, it doesn't apply to you. It anyway, apply. it's great. For people that want to cut cable, we have so many wonderful options oh, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And cables <laughs> so do we have really expensive, right? Yes. Do, do we have instructions on how to do it somewhere published? Uh, um, we'll write them tomorrow. <laughs> I'll write them tomorrow. Oh, you can go to I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I think that would really be helpful. Yeah, it's really, it, it's, it's not. It should be on the website to say how to do it, right? Um, putting putting each academy instructions, instructions on that the website would be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Some things, yeah. It's really. Um, the only thing I heard that made any sense was Hoopla. Yeah. <laughs> if you, it's easiest if you have like an iPad or something to stream directly to there. If you need to cast, you need to have a device that allows you to cast, <laughs> such as a Chromecast stick or Roku, something that allows you with your smart TV to cast. Or a Fire Stick? Um, yes, it, Amazon. I only watch Fire Mysteries. Stick, yeah. <laughs> just look for the Hoopla or the RB Digital for libraries. Bodies are always you know they're actors, though. Yeah, so. yeah. That's well, it. Okay. Whoa. Very cool. Thank you. Thank so you. If, there's, if there's no other business, would someone like to make a motion to adjourn? <sighs> motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Jenna and yes. Oh, there's a long pause, though.